Hey Storm Shielders, meteorologist Jason Myers here. It is Wednesday, August 20th, 2014, and we have a lot going on. First of all, just a couple of things to get out of the way. One, check out the YouTube channel. We have been uploading quite a few videos lately, a little bit on hurricanes, on monsoons, and we're starting a new feature, Weather Word of the Week. Just take a look, let us know what you think. All right, on to the severe weather. Yesterday, we were in the Midwest. Today, we're moving to the Northern Plains, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, all under a slight risk. It's only a slight risk. Hail, though, is our biggest threat with about a 30% risk of uh, some large hail in Southeast South Dakota. Winds also a possibility covering a slightly larger area and tornadoes also a possibility, especially in South Dakota. So uh, look out here. I think we could see a, a tornado or two. The upper level flow has changed somewhat since yesterday. The upper level low uh, that was over Wisconsin, Michigan uh, is still there, but it has been weakening significantly. Now we're starting to see a little bit of development in uh, just on the eastern side of the Rockies in the northern plains here. See a few little uh, waves right there. Those are very, very small, but we're going to see a couple couple of small disturbances in the mid-levels of the atmosphere that are going to swing through, bring us a, a decent chance for some showers and some thunderstorms. We also have a lot of instability working its way into that part of the country. You can see it just slowly working its way in, and part of that is because of the temperature and the dew point. Look at this. Some pretty warm air. Uh, just south of uh, this boundary, and then we start to dip into the 60s in parts of Iowa, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Look at the dew points, very soupy where we're seeing some 70s, and that uh, moisture drops off somewhat as you head farther to the north again. And the models have a really good handle on this as well. Look at this right here. Check that out. We have uh, a Right along that boundary, we're going to see, we're already seeing some showers and thunderstorms. This is this morning. And then as we head into the afternoon and evening, these kind of fizzle out, but we see some more redevelopment across uh, the eastern parts of uh, South Dakota right there. And this is where we're going to see the activity in the afternoon and lasting into the evening. And we may see a few more scattered storms as we head into the overnight hours as well. That's what's going on in the, uh, in the United States. But if we look to the Atlantic, Take a look here. We have a couple of disturbances, one, two, and it looks like within the next week, at least one of these could become a tropical storm as it skirts south of uh, Puerto Rico right there, and then possibly eventually works its way into the Gulf of Mexico. A few forecast models have it becoming a tropical storm, a couple others uh, remaining a depression. So that's what's going on in the Atlantic. That's what's going on in the Northern Plains. Be safe today. Tornadoes especially hail and even some wind are all possible across parts of South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota. So make sure you have Storm Shield close by. That way you can get the warnings for your exact location as soon as they're issued. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.